The key objectives of the uh, forum from my perspective were to set up the strategic alliance, which you can see beside me, to actually bring the three elements of law enforcement, government and military together, and most importantly, have a strategic output or outcome at the end of it. What we're looking at with the strategic alliance is to bring uh, a coalition of the willing, if you like, together to form a partnership to actually tackle uh, the IED scourge. And by doing that, we want to put that in an alliance whereby we've got a strategy with a vision, which we're looking at is to reduce the IED threat and save lives, and then set up a number of pillars that will enable us to do that. The four pillars are information sharing, whereby we make sure that we uh, pass information around each other. Public awareness, whereby we make sure not only the sort of EOD teams and the response teams know what's going on, but more importantly, the civilians, so they know what to look for to look after their own safety. We've got building capacity, uh, our capacity building, whereby we can build each other's capacity so we become better at responding to the threat. And the last one is uh, component control and trying to make sure some of the components that are integral de devices or items of the device, we can either track them and stop them becoming an integral part of the device or do something about it when we actually know what's in the device. I would see this forum uh, over the next few months, the working groups would actually go and consider the uh, four elements of the pillars in detail, present those back, and at the forum, we would then say, right, a year ago, we came up with, here's the proposal of a strategy, which is in principle, is in general, to make that, hey, this is what we're going to do now. So in a year's time, I'd see us being a quantum leap forward in terms of us now being able to go on to the front foot.